Hi, I'm Dr. Sue Ann from Nobby Health, and I'm an endocrinologist, so that's a specialist doctor in metabolism, and diabetes is one of the most common conditions that we see. I'm here to answer some common questions related to diabetes and its potential complications. The risk factors for having heart or kidney complications in persons with diabetes include having poorly controlled diabetes, having high blood pressure, and excess weight, particularly when it's in the wrong places around the waist. In addition, if one has a very strong family history of heart disease and or kidney disease, that can further contribute to higher risk for these complications. Last but not least, certain types of habits that are unhealthy, such as smoking, can further increase the risk. Occasionally, certain types of medications, and quite commonly, certain types of painkillers that are anti-inflammatories, can also contribute to injury to the kidney. So always consult your doctors prior to taking some of these medications that are capable, potentially, of causing these complications. In someone who already has diabetes, your care provider would be conducting regular monitoring for potential complications for heart and kidney disease. In the case of kidney disease, there are blood tests that can be done, as well as urine tests. Think about it a little bit like the blood tests are capable of diagnosing a problem when there is engine trouble. Oftentimes, when there is impairment in kidney function, it does manifest as abnormalities in your blood tests. But the urine test detects the presence of protein leaking in the urine and can be a much earlier sign of stress on the kidneys. Think of it a bit like oil leak for a car engine. So it's really, really important to screen for it early. And oftentimes, doing a urine test is a very simple way of detecting these early stresses on the kidney, the oil leak, so to speak, before it progresses to damaging your engine. So if you do have diabetes, do ensure that you are regularly screened for these complications and speak to your care provider if you have any questions about them. For heart complications, your care provider will factor in whether or not you show any signs or symptoms relevant for heart disease, as well as your overall risk profile. He or she may then order additional tests such as blood tests or imaging tests to better understand your risk for heart complications. The medical management of complications related to heart and kidneys in persons with diabetes will include optimizing the control of diabetes, blood pressure, and blood cholesterol levels. These can include the use of medications to get good control of all these risk factors. Of course, in all cases, having a healthy level of physical activity, regular exercise, and a healthy balanced diet is critical always to managing those conditions well. However, despite all that, there often remains what we call a residual risk. And there are some types of medications that do help with diabetes and glucose control, but independently and separately have beneficial protective effects on the heart and kidney. Various clinical practice guidelines are also evolving to not only focus on good control of diabetes, but prevention of the progression of complications related to heart and kidney disease. This means really looking out and preventing for it in people that we know do not yet have it, and also preventing progression in people who have been detected to have these complications. If detected early and managed well, there can be improvements and even reversal of some of these early complications. So overall, if we take these steps to identify early, manage them well, and then monitor on a regular basis, we should be able to live a full, healthy life without having to worry about the complications of chronic disease.